Okay, I want to do a big update. A quick update. Not a big update at all. It's going to be a quick one. Um, you have a Mercury conjunct Jupiter this week. Uh, Venus is combust of the Sun. We have the Sun for one more week in Aquarius and then it moves into Pisces next Friday. Uranus still in Aries, Mars in Taurus, grounded. Good positioning for Mars right now, other than its conjunction with Rahu, which could set off just a number of things. Uh, the moon all by itself over here in Libra, moving along its daily path. Neptune is also here with the Sun and Venus. So still a lot of Saturn energy. You've got three planets in Aquarius and three planets in Capricorn. And both of them, Aquarius on the fixed cross and Capricorn on the mutable cross, are aspecting the Mars and Uranus here on the cardinal and fixed cross. So And Libra also cardinal. So... No mutable energy right now. None. Zero mutable energy. Even Pluto is in Capricorn. So everybody's either on the cardinal cross or on the fixed cross. So a lot of head butting, a lot of arguments, a lot of back and forth, but no change. No, no transmutation. Not right now. It's going to have the sun moving into Pisces next week followed by Venus, and then we'll have Mars slowly trying to head towards Gemini, but that's going to be a while, so we're just going to have a lot of cardinal energy and a lot of fixed energy. Uh, this month is still going to be kind of wild. There's still quite a bit going on, uh, especially on the cardinal cross because of Saturn, Jupiter, and then the Uranus over here in Aries aspecting. Luckily, we made Mars through Aries without any big upsets. We have had an uptick in earthquakes and volcanoes to be watched. Uh, not to mention the deep freeze we had here, which, wow, that was pretty serious. We got about eight inches of snow packed in ice. Uh, the first day before it even started to snow when I tried to go out in it and I didn't even get to the end of the street and tried to turn onto the highway and slid right into a 180 on black ice facing oncoming traffic. It scared the shit out of me so I just came home and parked it till after after all of that was over. I guess we were we were locked in about 10 days that we couldn't even get out and Two of my neighbors have had to move out. They've been out here and dug up the street, uh, city water pipes, all kind of stuff. Myself, personally, um, I'm not doing well. Of course, y'all know I'm not posting. I'm not doing well. I do have an appointment next week uh, with an oral surgeon, so maybe I can finally get this taken care of. I've been just floating by uh suffering from a lot of pain, causing sleep deprivation, which literally makes me lose my freaking mind. Sleep deprivation is bad enough by itself, but when you add excruciating pain on top of it, I literally was pulling my hair out. But I'm in a, in a better place right now. Um, my pain's controllable. I'm using a lot of ice packs, which helps, but you just don't sleep very long. So maybe after next week, I'll get some of this taken care of. It set my TMJ off. And I don't have regular TMJ. Most uh, TMJ is caused from what they call bruxism, where you grind your teeth when you sleep. I don't do that. Matter of fact, I sleep with my mouth wide open, just gaped open. Um, much, a, Very much a mouth breather. But uh, <clears throat> mine is from an injury in my back, literally that shifted everything. My neck, and uh, it pulls the muscles from the back of your neck and shoulders around your face, and it locks down my jaw. 
<clears throat> and it's really, really painful. You don't actually have pain in your jaw. It hurts in your ears. It feels like an ear infection. And I did go out in the snow and the wind and just amplified it, made my ears hurt. So just right on top of it. But maybe next week um, my infections are under control now. My face is not so swollen anymore. So now I can go have something done about it. I've been fighting an infection and they won't touch you. Uh, when you have, I basically had a, felt like an abscess and they won't touch me while it's there. The infection has to be gone. And I had an appointment, but then the snowstorm kind of, they had to put everybody off. So I'm just now getting rescheduled. And hopefully life will be better after that. This has been a long time coming. I have been suffering from this for, for months now. This has been a bad year. Uh, in the past year, it's put me, this is like the fourth time, it's put me down. And uh, this time it's not been that easy to come back from. But now that we know what the problem is, and I finally found me a surgeon that can do the job, uh, I'm going to get it done. Uh, I'm going to have to pay a hefty down payment, but he is going to let me pay in half of it up front and then half of it in installments. So it won't, it won't wreck me over the coals too damn bad. Uh, but I refused to go to the emergency room. I just seen no point in that. They're not going to do anything for me. Uh, it's, it's not, they just won't. And um, I can't take their opiates. So I just seen no point in throwing that money away. And I have just been doing what I can and trying to bide my time till I can get there. So if y'all will be patient with me, please. Uh, hopefully by next week, I will be on the road to recovery. And uh, I'm so ready for it. I'm just stove up. I'm still not sleeping well. It's hard to find a, a comfortable spot. And then when I do get sleep, it's just not for that long. But I am doing what I can when I can. My brother's much better, so he's pretty much taking care of me and well, I'm doing me, he's helping, because he's helping take care of Kelly. And doing a lot around here, actually. I'm really appreciative of him right now. And I'm glad he's here, because I wouldn't want to be alone through what I'm going through right now. All right, I thank all of you for your well wishes. Uh, I'm way behind on uh, email. Please be patient with that. I've been under attack again. This happens to me every couple of years. I don't know who I pissed off now. It might be the same person. They're just coming back at me, but uh, uh, some asshole is signing me up for all kind of crappy shit and nasty shit and on my email. <clears throat> and until I can go in and get every one of them out, it, uh, Gmail is not putting it in my spam folder. It's showing up in the thousands in my regular folder. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I'm having to go through one by one and try to spam them out or unsubscribe. And I have been signed up for everything under the sun. And that really aggravates me. That really is so petty to do that. All right, you people know what to do. Uh, you got, I guess, the big day to look for in the next week is the 11th, which will be next Thursday. They have to do a ritual. I don't know what year. I haven't really gone year by year to see what it looks like and what they do. But they have to have an, uh, another ritual before um, April 2024. Between now and 2024, they have to have a 311 ritual and a 1211 ritual to match the two they've already done so that they can complete that fixed cross in the heavens before the next eclipse. So 311 is always a date to watch. Um, the Vatican is, that's for Freemasonry, the Vatican is prominent on always, always doing a spring equinox ritual. So you can uh, watch one of their ceremonies coming up. Uh, 
they always mark the 21st as well. 21st or 22nd, depending upon leap year. All right, people, go bank your karma. The way this is all ramping up, uh, this could end up being more of a wild ride than last year.